Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. This is the third video in our multiple channel room facility, giving you an idea of layout, equipment, setup, treatment types, uh, positioning of, of everything. So today I want to focus on the ends of the room, the long ends of the room. You know, the room's 35 feet with, you know, another, 50, another 30 feet past that. So it's got another 15 on both sides. So it's a big room uh holds lots of energy and, and four 13 and a half inch subs seems to be a really good fit for this size room volume and, and definitely the usage that uh, we're going through but i wanted to walk you through our subwoofer setup how how we have them on our carbon platforms how we have our carbon platforms on top of the subwoofers to minimize vibration and just the square footage of coverage that uh, is required you know to manage this kind of energy it's always good to manage the energy as close to source as you can when you're dealing with subwoofers. I know 99% of you out there are not going to do something like this. And you, you know, you shouldn't because this is a research facility. We're trying to dial in the amount of treatment that we need, what type we need, the frequency response of that treatment in order to address room issues. And then that information goes in our database. So when you fill out your room forms and I look at your room, you know, I know what kind of energy requirements the room is going to have for your usage. I know the square footage of low frequency management that we're going to need. And that square footage is represented in each one of our products. So I'm able to specify what you need to do to manage plus 10, plus 12, plus 14, 16. I saw the other day dB peaks in energy below 100. It's always that below 100 that's problematic. So here's a little tour of uh, both ends of the room with the subwoofers and their carbon platforms around them and the square footage is the coverage of both. Thank you. Hi everyone, so let's take a look at each end of the room where we have our two 13 and a half inch subwoofers. You can see the subwoofer right here and this, let me adjust this a little bit. There we go. And see we have our, our new 12 inch by 12 inch cubes sitting on the top. You know, we're just trying to manage vibration. Everything in a room in a critical listening environment is all about managing vibrations. Vibrations produce movement, movement produces sound, and, and we're trying to get rid of all that excess stuff, sound. So we have our ACD810 modules here on the left, some of our platforms there. It's a tuning process. You know, that's what you have to understand. And we've been at it about 18 months here, and we're showing you kind of the final results of all this before we tear it all down and start again in a new facility. So you can see the subs are on our carbon ACDA 12s and 10s. It's a combination of both because we're trying to manage, you know, really two frequency ranges in the room. You know, that 30 to 85, which is a big issue, and then the 30 to 300, which is always a big issue in small rooms. And as we noted before, you know, we we're using a uh, constrained layer mass damping for the subwoofers to manage the reflections there. Interesting about that is you immediately hear a near field improvement in the resolution when you start managing the cabinet vibrations, you know, and that translates far field. I mean, you actually hear that maybe one dB difference or something like that. I haven't measured it exactly, but it is audible and you can't hear it. And remember, getting high resolution in a room is all about doing a lot of things correctly, but more importantly, doing them in the correct order. So that's the case there. So here's the other sub on our right side. And you can see we have the ACDA unit here, all over the floor, and the sub sits on the platforms too. And then you can see the wall behind with the plants, two walls of, of carbon units there too. So. We're really going after it. You know, we're really making a, an effort to get the room as balanced as we can. And we'll do a video about the response changes over this 18 month period shortly. All right, we just looked at the right side of the room. Now here's the left side with both subwoofers, as you can see, surrounded by, you know, the carbon technology combination of the ACDA 10s, 12s, and platforms. It's all about square footage. It's all about locating the absorption as close to the source as you can. And that'll give you some idea. The nice thing about these subs is that 
you can control the gain on them. You control it with your phone. You know, they also have EQ, parametric EQ and stuff. So you can notch out if you need to and work uh, in that area also. So you can see here, we've taken the same approach as the other side and got so much square feet of units. And you go to the side channels here. You can see we actually have our carbon technology behind them and between them and then our foam technology also. So it's a, it's a piece by piece assembly of all kinds of technologies to try to, you know, achieve a result. You can only do this over time. You know, I've been at this 18 months. I probably spend 20 hours a week in here at least, uh, testing and listening and doing all kinds of things in here, trying to enjoy most of it too, but you got so much work to do. It's, it's hard. You just got to keep going, but this is, uh, this is how we do it. This is how we manage the energy. And I always say that, you know, the best place to put the absorption for low frequency issues is as close to the source as you can get it. And you can't get it's much more closer to the source than standing units on top of the cabinets and underneath the cabinets and all around the cabinets. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.